I look a hot mess. Guess who doesn't have a flight but will be in Korea on Monday? This chick. <laughs> Imagine the type of calm that someone would have if they were in a bank heist and they were in shock. Like that type of calm, like that eerie calm. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Um, I've dealt with stress with visas before. This is on another level. Let's just say I had like, feel like I had a migraine throughout the whole day been grinding my teeth in my sleep but we're gonna get through this because you know I'm heading to Korea that's what I just wanted to say and I'm going to be filming from over there as I'm gonna be starting a new hopefully journey as far as with uh, my career with YouTube and going to new heights new heights new heights, new heights. come along for the ride Hi guys, so I'm finally heading out. I'm here packing, as you can see. Um, I have to take, I'm taking two bags with me. Um, normally when I pack, I try to pack as light as possible and like over the years I've gotten, I've gotten better and better. I think, I think I've gotten better and better at it, but um, because this is like Korea doing a year contract, you know, the usual teaching thing, um, it's got to basically, I'm trying to like take these two bags. I'm allowed 50 pounds each, um, AKA 25 kilos or 24, 23 kilos, whatever. So, um, yeah, just trying to make all this fit. So, and, um, you know, it's funny, I, like there's a lot of, uh, bloggers or a few people like I, I watch like the catch what was it the catch me if you can. I love her, um, Jessica, she's like, she's the bomb, and like, she has these cool, like those little space savers, but, but when you broke AF, um, it's gonna have to be this, this is the old school way, y'all, you know, toiletries, and the plastic are in the Ziploc bags, I usually like wrap them in plastic, cause I've had too many experiences of my shit exploding, so, you know, learn the hard way. And my goal is to have this bag here be my kit, my little personal bag. And then that, this is a Low and Sons bag. Um, I'll put a link in the description. I got this bag ages ago and it has been the best carry on um, that I've had. Or it's gotten me through so many trips. And it's like, it's really, it's cute. It's a cute little brown color. It's held up very well. Has a strap, the strap's detachable. And it even has, where is it? It has a zip here on the side where if you have an extra pair of shoes, they can go right in there. I'm actually gonna do that. I think I'm gonna try to get my slippers in there possibly, or either the boots, I don't know. Um, by the way, these sleep slippers here, I got these from Target. I'm gonna use these as my school slippers, but they are mad comfortable, so comfortable. people might not know I'm a big um Gudetama focus Gudetama fan um it's like the little depressed egg it's like Japanese uh character um I think it's is it Sanrio I think it might be from the same people or maybe not I thought it was like from the same people or same company that made like Hello Kitty I may or may not be wrong but I found this I got this at Kittyland in Tokyo and isn't this cute 
Like it's like all the little egg dishes of the world. Mexico's, like your huevos rancheros, souffle, burger, uh, Thailand, have a little rice, curry, fried egg, ramen. I just was in absolutely, absolutely in love with that little carbonara. So cute. And they had like other little kits. So I spent like $60 on this bad boy for these little things. But they got to come with me. They got to come with me. So I got to figure out where to put it and where to pack it. Got this one in South Africa. I want to say I got this somewhere in like Port Elizabeth or something like that. But this is kind of like my little fertility statue I gotta bring that with me I gotta I don't know how much that alone weighs but I don't know I'll figure it out Okay, so I'm like sweating and shit. Um, so this is what we got so far. So pretty much everything over here is going to go in my carry on and backpack. So I'm gonna have to make that work, that's fine. Now comes the test of weighing this ish. This always gives me a little bit of anxiety. Oh yeah, another quick tip. I always make sure I take a pair. Sorry, you guys are seeing my underwear. Woo. I always end up uh, packing or leaving out a couple pair of underwear, comfortable, breathable underwear for the part, the long duration part of the flight. And um, you never know, you never know. So. And I keep those in my carry-on. And all right, let's do this weight test. Yeah, I had a feeling that this was going to be the case, but both bags are overweight. One is overweight by three pounds, and the other one is overweight by, shit, like 14 pounds. So, got to figure out what to do. I'm like, should I try to check another smaller bag, or I don't even, I don't know what to do. Okay, be right back. All right, I'm ready for this to be over. We're back. So, your girl was tripping, I was playing myself, and obviously, you can't see because it's braided up, but I got a lot of hair, and a lot of hair means a lot of toiletry, so I decided just to break down, and um, just going to, that's all toiletries right there, that is 27 pounds. <laughs> one thing out and it went up a pound like how does that happen i'm exhausted but it's done all right both bags under 50 pounds i can't even talk under 50 pounds with the addition of toiletry bag so we're gonna make this work so i'm going to be leaving from new york via korean air so it's a good airline i've done it before so i will be vlogging as much of the process of the I can't even talk I will be recording as much of the process getting to Korea um, so follow along if you guys are interested the place to really see what's going down is Instagram specifically Instagram story so if you are not familiar Please follow me because I have a lot of fun on there and I do a lot of fun things and film a lot of fun things and you can keep up and just a lot more going on there. Just a lot more going on. Pretty. 
I got my mom. So they recommend that you bring at least a thousand dollars because your girl ain't going to be getting paid for at least a month, which is kind of like a bummer, but it's a big payday coming my way finally because I've been broke for so long. You know what to do like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'm going to see you on the next one.